Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting algebra math problem which is k times k times k minus k times k is equal to 100. So here we will try to find out the value of k. So here we will try to find out all the roots of this problem, this equation. So how can we solve this problem? Here look at two, this one term here k is multiplied three times. So therefore we can write this as here k is three times. So we will write k one time and we will add their power. So the power is one. So this will become k cube minus here k is two times. So this will become k square. And here we will move this 100 to the left hand side. So it will become negative 100 is equal to zero. So next we can write this 100 as k cube minus k square minus we can write this 100 as the difference of 125 minus 25 is equal to zero. Next we multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis with these two numbers. So this will become k cube minus k square. This will become minus 125. So we can write this 125 as 5 cube. And this will become negative time. Negative is positive. We can write this 25 as 5 square is equal to 0. Now we will move this cubic term to closer to this one number and this square term to this one number. So this will become implies k cube minus 5 cube minus k square plus 5 square is equal to 0. Now let us combine these two terms so this will become k cube minus 5 cube. Let us take our negative sign common from these two terms. So this will become negative. This will become k square minus 5 square is equal to 0. Now here in these two places we will use two different algebraic identities. Here we will use a cube minus b cube algebraic identity. And here we will use a square minus b square algebraic identity. So here we will use these two identities here in these two terms. So here we will use this one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube which can also be written as a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square and here we will use this one identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using these two different identities here in these two terms these two terms will become this will become k minus 5 times k square plus 5k plus 5 square minus and using this identity here this will become k minus 5 times k plus 5 is equal to 0 look at two, these two expressions here in these two expressions this k minus 5 is common so let us take out k minus 5 common from both the expressions both the terms so this will become k minus 5 so here only this quadratic equation is left k square plus 5k plus 5 square is 25 minus and here only k plus 5 is left so here we multiply this negative sign with these two terms so this will become negative k and this will become negative 5 is equal to 0. So let's further simplify this expression. So this will become k minus 5 times k square 5k minus k gives him 4k and 25 minus 5 gives him 20 is equal to 0. We have the product of these two expressions this linear and this quadratic equation is 0. So here either this linear equation will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is k minus 5 will be 0 or k square plus 4k plus 20 will be 0. So first we will solve this linear equation. So here we will move this negative 5 to the right hand side. So it will become positive 5. So k is equal to 5 to 5 is our first real solution. 
So let us suppose this is our k1. Now we will solve this quadratic equation for the other two solutions of k. So looking to this equation here, we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula here, first we will write the values of a, b, c that we need in the quadratic formula. So here the value of a, which is the coefficient of k square, which is 1. The value of b, which is the coefficient of k, which is 4. And the value of c, which is the, which is the constant term, which is 20. Now the quadratic formula is k is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let's substitute these values here in the right hand side. So the value of k will become k is equal to negative b. The value of b is 4 plus minus square root of b square. Now b is 4 square minus 4ac. a is 1 and c is 20 divided by 2a. Now the value of a is 1. So let's further simplify this right hand side. Negative 4 plus minus square root of 4 square is 16 and 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 20 is 80. So this will become 80 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So let's further simplify this. So this will become k is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of here 16 minus 80 gives him minus 64. But we can write minus 64 as 64 times negative 1 divided by 2. So this we will split this square over 64 and negative 1. So this will become minus 4 plus minus square root of 64. But we can write 64 as 8 square times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. So here this square and this square will cancel, it gives him 8. And here this square root of negative 1 is a complex identity i. So we will replace this with i. So this right hand side will become k is equal to minus 4 plus minus, it gives him 8 i divided by 2. So next we can write this right hand side further as we will take out 2 common from the numerator. So this will become minus 2 plus minus 4i divided by 2. So this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. So our final result will be minus 2 plus minus 4i. So here we have two possible complex values of k. No, the second solution k2 is equal to minus 2 plus plus 4i. So this is our second complex solution. And our third complex solution is k3 is equal to minus 2 minus 4i. So this is our second solution which is a complex and this is our third solution which is also a complex solution. So finally we have three possible solutions. One is real, k1 is equal to 5 and other two solutions are k2 and k3 are complex.